Okay, the intrepid explorers go down to investigate the uh, alien life form. <laughs> They've cut it in. <laughs> okay. Who does this kind of stuff? <laughs> yeah. It's interesting how it comes right, it's right at. Yeah. It's pointing right at the lunar crack. Yeah. That is just wild. Huh. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting how it comes right, it's right at. Yeah. It's pointing right at the lunar crack. Huh. We ought to see if there's any writing on it. What the heck is that? Yeah, it's not. What? No. Yeah. So they've cut it in. They've cut it in? On this particular day, uh, they were working alongside our state partners, the Division of Wildlife Resources, uh, counting desert bighorn sheep in that area. Um, as they were, you know, doing their, their count and flying around, they, they noticed an object in the southeastern Utah desert amongst the Red Rock. So they landed the helicopter and, and went and checked out uh, this, uh, what we now know is a, a stainless steel monolith, uh, some type of art installation that someone has actually uh, put into the Red Rock uh, there in that location. This is wild. I've heard everything from uh, did this fall from the sky, you know, did it and, and kind of implant itself there? Uh, um, is it otherworldly? It, you know, without looking at it close and seeing that there are in fact uh, human-made rivets that, that put this thing together, um, you, you could definitely let your imagination run wild. For all we know, this has been there you know, 40, 50 years, uh, maybe more. And it's, it, it's the type of material that doesn't, you know, degrade with the uh, elements and, um, and it, it may only be a few years old, who knows? And obviously we, uh, we don't want people going out there and, and digging into our red rock on public land and, and placing stainless steel objects. Um, we, we take it very serious when things are defaced uh, or, um, you know, painted out in our, our public lands and, and the, this would be taken as seriously.